This is the third round of the 2014 Formula 2 World Championship Series of Power Boating, the Grand Prix of Milan at the Idro Scalo Regatta Circuit. Again, 23 boats entered for the final race on European ground. And it was Eric Stark, the winner of the Brindisi race, who had to keep his eyes in the mirrors because Pierre Landin and Peter Morin were ready to challenge the three-time world champion. The race is long and it's, this two-pin course is very difficult to, to, to overtake people. So I will, you know, I will try to have a good start and then just stay uh, stay in front of him and uh, try to do that the the laps we're gonna race. Even though Stark struggled in Q1 and Q2, he found his speed in Q3 and qualified on pole position. His main opponent in the World Championship, Peter Morin, was not that lucky. The Frenchman only qualified sixth and was very unsatisfied. Instead of Morin, it was Pierre Landin who was more than confident to beat Eric Stark. I think I can do that. If, um, if the condition uh, plays my way, uh, there will be rough water and, and maybe stronger wind and some uh, <laughs> overtaking. Uh, that, uh, I think, uh, will be uh, my advantage. After a controversial start, which led to a one-lap penalty for Italian driver David Delpin, who pushed several drivers to the inside, it was Landin who was first at the first turn, but at the inside line Stark managed to be out front again after the first lap. Johan Oesterberg, who qualified third and had lots of ambitions for the Milan Grand Prix, dropped back right after the start. After qualifying I was really happy. We set the goal for top five and the three, third position is really good. So we're looking forward to the race today. At the end, Österberg finished at an unsatisfying ninth position. Meanwhile, the race started to become a real battle at the two-turn circuit with its long straights. The first to fail was the German Manuel Sauer-Essig, who stopped between the turn boys and caused the first full course yellow. Now it was a gambling between Stark and Landin, who would get the better start. The Swede Eric Stark made it and kept the lead. But right after that Eric Edin and Stan Kurtzinovsky came way too close and spectacularly caused another full course yellow right away. Both Edin and Kurtzinovsky could continue the race and Eric Edin even finished third at the end, his best ever result in the Formula 2 World Championship. Back to the race for the win. After Stark also won the second restart, it was a battle till the finish line between Stark and Landin. Landin with slightly more speed through the turn and Stark with slightly more acceleration out of it. Nobody could point a winner out of that one. Again and again Landin came as close as possible. But every single time Stark found the right answer. It was a tough race and breathtaking to watch. But after 40 laps, Eric Stark was the first to see the checkered flag, only 8 tenths of a second in front of Pierre Landin, who became second. <laughs> it was a tough race. He is quick and he's a good driver, and he uh, ah, was the better man today. So three Swedes stepped up the podium at the Milan Grand Prix and with Peter Morin only finishing seventh, Eric Stark made a big step towards his fourth straight world title in Formula 2. With only one race to go in December in South Africa, Eric Stark leads the World Championship by 19 points. So it's a almost done deal for Eric Stark, but to finish first, first you have to finish. So stay tuned for the South African Grand Prix and follow Formula 2 on Facebook or f2worldchamp.com.
Mm-hmm.